Every year we have this summit and we bring our students together for our purposes, for our goals of creating peace and understanding across borders. And I thought, this is fabulous. We can go to a country that has all of our seven issues, poverty, uh, environment, women's rights, everything is right here in front of our faces. And we can actually do some good just by our presence. Last summer I met Sapan at the summit in Belgrade, 2015, and he came up to me and he said he wanted to host the summit in Nepal to show everyone that it was safe for tourists again. And I said, really? Because <laughs> he'd only been to one summit. And it seemed like such a bold, audacious thing, but he was so confident, he said yes. Then I came back to Nepal and uh, once, uh, one day Evelyn, Evelyn uh, she sent me an email uh, mentioning that uh, would you like to host the 11th summit in Nepal? Mm, I started thinking about that and uh, I have few, few, mm, few person in my life who has been working closely, with, uh, closely working with me uh, for a very long time and I went to them and uh, I started like talking with them. a lot of people saying to us, what are you crazy going to Nepal? It's one of the world's poorest countries. There was just a major earthquake. There's political unrest and there's lack of supplies and lack of electricity. And so I said, well, yes, we're considering. After lots of back and forth and more documents from Sapan, the board voted yes for Nepal. Then the fun started <laughs> because then there was more food shortages and medical shortages and power cuts and uh, uh, problems on the border and blockades and it was just, and I was speaking to Sapan every week. Every week we had a Monday morning conference call and once I said to him, Sapan, there's so much, there was aftershocks even. I said, there's so many things that are saying to us, maybe this is not a good idea. I said, we can always come back to Nepal another time. I couldn't answer Evelyn like whether we should definitely do this or not uh, and uh, Evelyn gave me like 24 hours to uh, give the final decision so that, that, that 24 hours uh, hour was like uh, pretty hard for me I went to my team and like we decided in, in, many, in many areas like we, um, we try to explore like new opportunities Can you do this? Yes sir, I will really go for it. During those 10 years, we have tried to develop some kind of concept that was very much uh, youth uh, included in that concept, and uh, so that they could take over and do the whole summit. So we went here, and here we are. And for the first time we can see that there has been a transmission to uh, let the youth lead. 
and that the advisors and the organizers are just supporting and uh, back home the key opening for new projects. I was so excited for the summit to come to Asia um, and I know it was in Serbia for many years and it's been in the west but it hasn't been in the east and so to, to know that all the PSAs were going to have a different backdrop and we were going to have a different host and uh, a different cultural experience, um, a different setting for our event. This summit is all about change and excitement because we're launching a new decade and I think so far it's going great. Creating uh, PSAs together and working on workshop guides is also a way of uh, collaboration between uh, many nations and that's what the summit is all about in the end. For me the summit means one of the greatest things that happened into my life because IYMS 2K16 uh, was, uh, was a dream for me because you know in very difficult situations uh, also like it's happening and like we are, we, we four of us four fantastic four are able to bring the summit to Nepal. The summit will inspire me to make a difference to the society. Even if it is small step, if there are a lot of people, we can bring a huge impact and change. Hopefully we want to make a different world by young people. I've learned a lot, everything from camera angles to lighting to props to the terminology has been the biggest uh, uh, learning curve for me, uh, especially since Evelyn and I are going to be working on a lot of collaborative projects this coming year in high school. Uh, I think it's very important for me as a history teacher to know exactly what I'm talking about when we're making films. I'm having a lovely time with lovely people that are collaborative, creative. I learn a lot of new things from everybody and also about filmmaking, which I think is a good combination of social work and filmmaking. The kids of this generation are just so aware of their environment, the poverty, the, the world that they're going to inherit, and I'm just so, so happy that they're they're ready to change this world. They're ready to put their, their stamp on, um, on Earth and on their generation that I'm, I'm really positive for a change and for a change for the better. It's been an amazing experience. My heart has grown so much. My information base has grown so much and I'm so grateful to have had this time here in Nepal with our wonderful, incredible, warm-hearted ho host Nobody in my community has any idea about any of this. And so I need to uh, really ramp things up and, and tell them about it. The ups and downs we faced in this event uh, are second to none, right? Uh, we've had to go a lot of places. We had to knock, knock a lot of doors. And many times, we were, the door was just shut on our face. But nevertheless, we did it. We made this event a successful one. The tourism of Nepal has been promoted because the delegates from different nationalities are here and when they return back to their country, they will surely talk about the good things of Nepal and we hope a lot of tourists will be coming in days to come. Population asiatiche sono molto più vicine alla nostra cultura di quanto noi crediamo e penso che il compito che noi abbiamo è proprio quello di integrarci superando le barriere e affrontando in maniera diversa l'educazione, dando la possibilità a tutti di studiare e di esprimere le proprie capacità e per il proprio futuro. I couldn't even expect such a wonderful friendship 
among all people. I'm very glad I could help, I could be of help, and I also learned a lot. It's a great experience, a great feeling uh, to be with them for two weeks uh, every year on a different place, share our experience, share our filmmaking ideas and uh, just see how can we make this place, this world better. When I go back to Sweden I will uh, contact uh, the youth uh, center in my community and I will make sure that we can have like a mini summit uh, so uh, the young people that lives in my neighborhood have the opportunity to do kind of the same thing that we've been doing here because I think that it's important that young people all around the world have the opportunity to express themselves.